recent months, doors have opened for every nation to plant churches in two of Western Europe's most picturesque cities. In the very heart of the Iberian Peninsula is the city of Madrid, the capital and largest city of Spain, and the third largest city in the European Union. Mel Calingo and his wife Tanya lead the church planting team in Madrid. We have started our once a month church service and this coming October we are ready to launch a church and that means like we're going to be doing a weekly service. Right now we have about 20 people but what I'm excited about is that God just gave us so much grace to build a relationship not just with immigrants in Spain because basically Europe is just I mean a hodgepodge of different nationalities now but most especially the local Spanish people. So. Uh, we're really excited about that and we're looking forward to having a lot of Spanish people in the church. So we met this woman and she totally didn't believe in God before. But with so much patience and prayer, eventually she did receive God. And very recently she told us she'd been having a lot of nightmares and that this man would appear to her and would frighten her a lot. So one of our team members prayed for her. And the next day she told us that in her dream Jesus appeared. She doesn't really remember what they talked about, but one thing she did remember was Jesus told her that He loves her so much. Then after that, she woke up, she felt a totally different person, and uh, right now she's totally in love with God, and she's got heart for worship, and who knows, maybe she's gonna be our first worship leader. Meanwhile, eastward to the sunny Mediterranean coast of France lies the city of Marseille, the second largest city in France. Welcome to Marseille, I'm here with uh, Matt Resch, planning a church here in this great city in, in uh, with his wife Christy and the kids. So Matt, great to be with you. Here in Marseille, we've got a vision to really touch the nations, starting with the French, as the French have traditionally been a lot of secular humanism invading their lives and uh, ousting God. But uh, there we found that they're very curious. They're interested in understanding who God really is. And uh, we know that God's got a great plan for Marseille. One of the great things about uh, Marseille, as you may remember uh, me saying, is that 30% of the population here is Muslim. And so there's a great number of people here who are open uh, to the gospel because they're not from here. They're immigrants from Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco. And those are all 99%, for the most part, 99% Muslim countries. Yeah. So once we reach them, we're able to, to, to find the gospel getting back into some really great countries. Fantastic. Well, it's a beautiful city, man. And Matt, um, I just want to encourage everyone here, First of all, pray for this place, pray for Matt, Amen. pray, and then uh, just other ways people can help you. Oh man, you know, there's all kinds of ways. If there's anybody that's got a heart to come, we've yeah. got a couple short-term mission trips. We've also yeah. got uh, an internship for six to eight weeks this summer coming up. Thirdly, we've also got a, a one-year internship people can sign up for to come, spend time here and, and, and participate in different kinds of ministries, evangelism. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to just support what we're doing, you can always send yeah. your checks. So, yeah, we just want to encourage you. Pray for it. You know, um, if you want to come short term, long term, come along and support it financially. And uh, let's dream a dream for Europe. And just, uh, Matt, we just wish you all the best. God bless you guys. And yes. we're trusting big for this great city and uh, for God's kingdom to come here. God Merci bless. beaucoup. Et au revoir. Merci.